supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. This supposed to be your moment. What good is being the one when you the only one that knows it? videos all to incentivize you to not be a real person bro and to be a slave stop being a slave bro that next maker not pay that logo do not pay stop. bro if you gonna be a if you gonna be a bro, at least get paid for it bro i mean even though the you know you getting paid for it, you know, but y'all doing it for free, bro. That's worse, dog. Any nigga that defends new 2K need, need needs to Hannah Baker, bro. Like seriously, <laughs> seriously, bro. <laughs> seriously, bro. That's like, that's like real, bro. But they keep it real when when they got a certain amount of juice, bro. Be honest. His ban appeal got denied. How do you know that? That nigga A ain't gonna come back. Bro, it don't matter. That man's a millionaire. If he goes to YouTube, he's gonna be even bigger, bro. <laughs> bro, if I had a podcast with, and like there were actual numbers, like if I did that with someone, I would ruin the world, bro. Niggas can't handle the truth. <laughs> I would hurt oh, bro. Haunt oh, God, bro. Too soft spoken, man. Um, if I miss y'all's comment, just retype that. Bitch. I'm gonna hit y'all next bad, man. Sub up, bro. Almost every bro, I don't know, bro. I just think everyone's a bitch in the world, bro. So I'm just like different, dog. Bear been telling me to get to it, yeah, bro. Did you you youtube is harder than becoming a comp player and streaming bro niggas don't even understand bro but you you gotta like put in the same effort bro and and you could get it dog but that that shit's way more demoralizing than uh like trying to become good or fucking uh trying to stream bro because you you're just like doing brain dead and it's like, you know, but with the YouTube shit, it's a lot more thinking and planning, bro. Nigga, I seen all that Demon Slayer shit. Nigga, I even got the game. Nigga, I love Demon Slayer. Y'all, y'all, y'all don't understand, man. The the legendary Swan is the the IQ Sensei, man. Y'all, y'all never heard this anywhere. Listen, eighty percent, no, any dribble god can become a stage player and be better than 80% of guards. But they're scared. Hear, hear what I, 80%. Most of them stage guards are just brain dead, bro. They just do moves. So imagine at the caliber of dribble, but they're scared. Any dribble god can turn into a stage player, bro. Any park player, any comp park player, they can turn into a stage player and be better than 70%, but they don't do it. The the whole shit could look, any YouTuber, if they like stop their like grind and shit, mo like not any, but a lot of these YouTubers, they used to do the comp shit, nigga. If they stopped and put their focus into being a stage player or going for the league, they could be better than most niggas, bro. But they don't do it because they don't have to. Niggas don't. A lot of these YouTubers would destroy stage niggas, bro. But they don't have to play stage. You don't get it. The reason niggas play stage is for views, bro. Right? If a nigga pulled in 70, 100K or whatever views, why the fuck would they go stress themselves out? to play a bunch of weirdos, bro. They're gonna be like, no, like, why would I waste my time? Niggas, 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 they don't understand, bro. You you can't, you can't put all your time into fucking uploading videos and then like be the coldest nigga on there. 
and then you like doing it for years is you gotta you gotta balance out the time bro you, you you gotta balance out the time my nigga so like if a stage nigga you loses to a youtuber it's bad bro it's bad because especially since a stage nigga's always sharpening his sword you know steel sharpen sharpen steel right and you got two other niggas yes i do think you are right i think you just love me nigga rumpy i appreciate the sub i don't even remember if i responded but people don't, people don't, nobody wants to be playing 2K for 12 hours. A, no one wants to play 2K for eight hours a day to be that cold ass nigga and then spend five hours on their YouTube channel and then stream half them hours. You can't do it, bro. You want to dedicate 20 hours a day to a video game? Nobody wants to do that, bro. N niggas have to start understanding perspectives, man. You know, thi this shit is about a bag, my nigga. At, at the end of the day, man. Niggas is getting nice. Well, the smart niggas are getting nice because they want the bag, my nigga. They not just... Mo a lot of the stage niggas are fucking stupid. They're getting nice because they want recognition, bro, because... They don't have father figures and shit, right? So they want recognition from another nigga. But the smart niggas, they trying to get a bag, bro. Be honest, man. Seriously. Yeah, got outside jobs too. Like, a lot to this shit niggas don't understand, man, because they don't do it, bro. Uh, like, I, bro. You can't, it's, it's literally, it's, it's super hard to try to upload consistently on YouTube and be the coldest nigga in the game. So if you upload consistently on YouTube with like getting the nails and the titles and shit and you destroying niggas that's supposed to be the coldest nigga, you might be the fucking best. Cause imagine if you stop the YouTube shit and just tried to be comp, nigga, you would destroy niggas on a whole different, niggas don't get it. So, so like, like when YouTubers like randomly go to the stage and they beat a lot of these comp niggas, that shit is bad. Cause most of the time, park players or YouTubers, they got weak ass niggas on their team, bro. Like if you got a whole stage lineup, and you're facing a nigga that got two park niggas on his team and he barely even played a game and you lose? That shit is bad, bro. It's bad, nigga. N -n -n niggas don't look at the potential of shit, man. Yeah, they know how you play all that shit. Mo most of the niggas that y'all think is the best in this shit, if they went to make YouTube videos, they cut out five hours out their day, every day to dedicate it to YouTube, they would be way worse, bro. Way worse. Nigga, isn't that impossible, YT? What the fuck are you talking about? Anyone can sit on the game and just be cold, nigga. Like, that don't prove nothing. When you can balance shit and be cold, that proves something, bro. And then some YouTubers got jobs and do the YouTube shit and it's cold. Come the people who know life, the game, and are cold don't prove exactly, Rumpy. It ain't respected to me, to be honest. If you're not on YouTube doing your shit and all that shit, it ain't, it ain't respected to me, bro. Like, if you're just playing stage, you're not, you're not really balancing out your life you don't have a job and it ain't it ain't respected to me because I, I i know what it is bro i've done it bro niggas don't get it bro they don't get it man staying at home with mommy just playing the game think they the coldest nigga bro Let, let's see you try to balance some shit bro 15 through 17 bro no one's ever done what i've done nigga i promise you that what what i had to balance nigga and to beat every, beat up on every comp nigga 
15 through 17 in the stage, bro, no one's, no one's ever, no one will ever do what I did, nigga. That shit's impossible, nigga. N n niggas got have to quit their job to, to beat the coldest niggas, bro. I, I, ba I balanced all that shit, bro. It's the unthinkable, nigga. No one will ever do that. N niggas have to quit going to school, you know? To, to lock in and do everything. Nigga, I did it all at once, bro. When I scored 72 points with bum-ass Krizzy on my team. Yeah. That shit was crazy. I'm so serious, Jay. What you talking about? This the best shit. I ain't hear it yet, though. I used to play pro a lot in 2K18, nigga. I used to drop... 40 plus points a game, all ISO, nigga. Drop it off. Comp teams, league players, all that shit. Crazy, the guy who's apparently so amazing now. That nigga was ass back then. But I had him on my team, drop 72, nigga. The unthinkable. <laughs> Never playing the game. <laughs> I, I, I think I did that with not playing the game for like four days straight, nigga. And I just came back extremely exhausted. Got on the game, turned on the stream, started dropping off comp teams and dropped 72. Niggas can't do that. For niggas to be good at something, they have to constantly play it. Niggas can't do what I do, bro. It's impossible. It's impossible, nigga. It's impossible. With the worst of the worst. I really just wanted to turn this bitch on and talk to y'all, nigga. Clutch, I could, I could do the same thing. Nigg niggas get tired of it, bro. It's, it's, not, it's not worth the effort, my nigga. You guys gotta smarten up. That's what life's about, bro. I'm like, bro. Why the fuck am I putting in all this effort? It's about working smarter, not harder. Why am I putting in all this effort to be the fucking greatest and post videos in the stage, all that shit, deal with all that stress, niggas being weird, niggas, niggas like doing like trying to do like illegal shit, harassing you, closing your cords, throwing the game. Why the fuck would I keep doing that shit? When I go over there, I look at Agent. I look at all these park players that's just blowing up on YouTube. Why the fuck am I playing stage when the biggest creators are park niggas? Like, what? Why the fuck would I keep stressing myself out like this? It's not worth it. So I was like, you know what, nigga? I mean, the real reason why I stopped playing stage, bro, it's because niggas kept throwing the game when I get on the court. I come on this bitch late as fuck. Like right now, right? I'll go straight to the stage, pick up whoever, drop niggas off. Niggas was so fascinated with me, bro. Right? I guess I don't know how I talk. I'm just funny. I don't even have my cam on. So y'all niggas are really obsessed, bro. Y'all niggas is really swan sexuals, bro. Not y'all niggas, but some niggas. I know some of y'all niggas in the chat would do it, bro. But niggas would get on my team. And just throw the game like like literally like not actually play the game and just be ass they'll they'll just stand at half court right and they'll just wait for my reaction and they'll just throw the ball it's like what am i doing what am i doing why the fuck would i keep playing stage if niggas keep throwing the game on my team bro so it's like, nigga, am I just going to bring fucking niggas from the stream to the stage? And then, like, no, bro. I'm trying to get, like, stage niggas. Any stage nigga. But they kept throwing the game. Nigga, I still do the same shit when I play, bro. The same shit I've been saying, Simba. React to so? Y'all want me to react to it? Bro, all my shit real, bro. I'm not I'm not like these other people, my nigga. And then and then, bro, I wasn't even tripping when niggas would throw the game and they would still do it. It's like, what am I doing, bro? 
Why would I keep playing this? And then, like, to... I don't know, bro. It, it, it's just a tough situation, bro. It's hard to explain. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.